Georgia, when I was growing up, Georgia was an amazing place. I thought I was going to live in Atlanta, Georgia, because I used to visit during, when I was younger. And now probably Georgia, today. I'm sorry? I said, probably don't want to move to Atlanta today. <laughs> no, it's a mess. What's your yes. impression of Georgia? Uh, I love South Georgia. Um, I mean, actually, Georgia's a nice place in general. Just just got those special big cities like Atlanta and they, all the stuff that they're doing up there. But other than that, rural Georgia, South Georgia, peanut, watermelon, Georgia, that's, that's us, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm super country killing possums and killing squirrels and, and deer and all that good old stuff. And, you know, just living out in the country and, uh, you know, sitting on your back porch, eating some sugar cane. That's, that's the type of Georgia I love. <laughs> I love that. You know, man. So, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's our Georgia. Other than that, you know, like Atlanta and stuff, you know, that's, that's up in the city, but for us in the rural areas and the country areas, that's how we live. You know, Have we you, enjoy you, it. You've always been in the country all your life? Yes, sir. Can you ever imagine leaving there? No, I love, you know, being out here in the country, you know, and my favorite thing, you know, one day I want to get me a big house out in the country, you know, with a lot of acres of land and just stay far out away from the city. You know, I want to have to get gas to go into the city every time. Like, I want to stay really far out, have some cattle, you know, and just live peacefully out and eat some sugar cane on the back porch. That's what I want to do. So. <laughs> when I saw you, one of your videos where you first got some land down there to build your, your school, and then mm -hmm. you got land to, I think your grandmother or somebody gave you a home or somebody, and I saw you walking through the woods and showing the land. It was it looked like freedom. It, it, looked, like, it looked like total freedom. And I thought how fortunate you are that you're in that environment instead of in these cities where it's just messed up, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. I, one thing I don't like about the city is that, you know, out there in LA and at New York, everywhere I travel, nobody has any yard. Like <laughs> people, how do you live and don't have a yard? Like you don't even have a front yard, a backyard. Yeah. You know, I'm used to my, my house got like th three, four acres of land around it. Like that's just normal houses in Albany. Everybody has at least an acre, you know, but, <laughs> Down and then see, I'm talking about people who can mow their grass and like fight, like with one push, then your, your grass is mowed. Like <laughs> I'm used to having to be outside all day and and raking and cutting the shrubs and and doing all that goodness before I even go in the house. Like you have to dedicate a weekend to doing the yard. You're yeah. supposed to go outside on a Monday <laughs> before they leave work and go cut the grass uh. and be. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's insane. I always thought that it was insane to not have any land or these houses so close together. I'm like, man, we might as well be in apartments. Like, I can't <laughs> even scream out. You know, so <laughs> that's that's that's, you know, the city life. I can't deal with that. No, so, sir. Have you ever had to pull to want to live in a city or considered at all while growing up? No, 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 no. <laughs> never, never, never. So <laughs> you, enjoy you were born a country boy. You're going to die a country boy. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, you know, through and through. I know how to give a good interview sometime. I know how to, you know, put on a suit and go do what I need to do. But whenever mm -hmm. I need to get back to talking like this with my uncles, I absolutely <laughs> will and go rustle some cattle. So, <laughs> yeah. So there are, there is a city in Georgia called Wallamana and Peanut, Georgia. Oh, no, no, no. What oh. I'm saying is uh, South Georgia is known for peanuts and oh. watermelons. So I was saying like, Peanut Georgia, like people know South Georgia for peanuts. And, oh, and I got you. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's amazing. 